Hey everybody, it's Wendy here and I'm part of the family at Cosby Coast Vineyard and I hope you're all keeping really well. And we're doing our craft today. This is our Sunday craft after our story and our story was about Moses again. And you remember we were learning that he was a shepherd for 40 years and it was a bit of an iron smelly job, but he did this for 40 years and then God brought him back to the land of Egypt to free his people. But before he came back, God spoke to him through a bush that was burning, but the leaves didn't catch fire. The leaves were still there, but there was just these flames within the bush, and God spoke to him out of that bush. And so I thought today we're going to do a little bit of painting, and um, we're going to do some finger painting, and uh, I'll show you what to do in a wee minute, and then we're going to make ourselves our burning bush. And I just wrote on it, God's big plans, because if you put this on your wall, you can remember when you look at this that God has big plans plans for your life because he knows you and he sees you and he's got big plans for you so it's very exciting. Now as well before we start our craft if you go onto the website onto the Together at Home page and the kids section you'll find your colouring sheet for this week and we're doing a family tree colouring sheet and um, because our, our verse is about being an, a, a child of God and being an heir to God that means that you are part of his family. And it's a very beautiful place to be. So we are doing a family tree. So you can either do your family, like your brothers and sisters, your mum and dad, or your granny and grandas. And, or you could do maybe your school family, your friends from school. Or you could do your church family, friends from church, some kind of a friend family. You could do that. Um, you do whatever it is you want to put on that. So yes, you'll find that. You can print that out. But now we're going to do our craft. Okay, so what do we need? We need a piece of... A4 white card. I've used card instead of paper um, just to make it a little bit heavier. And then I have just got a larger sheet of card for behind it. So like I put this on a lovely bright pink piece uh, just so that whenever you hang it up then it looks lovely. Um, and this one is a green. So I've just got a bit of card for behind it. And you need glue then to attach that. And then the other thing we need is three different paints that um, I'm going to have to use this for the behind because I didn't bring a paper plate. So I have three different paints, a yellow, a red and a green. And these are just ready mix kids paints that are washable. And maybe if you have a paper plate or another bit of card or something that you can put your colours onto, um, you just need a little, a little bit of each one. And this gives us our colours for our leaves and for our flames. And then when you mix them together, it gives you the it makes a brown, which then is for the tree trunk. So we'll pop these down here and out of the way. I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing and I'll lift it up as I go along. But the first thing we do, you also need a pen or a pencil. And what we're going to do for the trunk of the tree and the branches, we're going to use our hands. So look, I'm going to lay it on the paper like this and I'm going to use my pen to draw around my arm and my hand and this is going to make the tree trunk and the branches of the tree. Now, it doesn't need to be really perfect, it's just to give you the shape of your tree. There we go. And I'll hold it up so I'll just pop that down. There you are, so that's going to be our tree trunk. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to use, oh, I do need a bit, uh, so I'll just use one actually then. Um, I was going to use three fingers, but I didn't bring, you maybe need a tissue or a baby wipe or something that you can clean your hands with. I'm in a different room again today and I haven't brought everything up with me, but I think we'll be okay. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with the green and I'm going to just start putting leaves on. So what do you see? Look, I'm just going to go right around it and this green is going to be the leaves off the bush. Once I've done this green, I'm going to hold it up and then you're going to see, you're going to see what I've done. So I'm just going to blend it in a wee bit. Maybe put a wee bit more around here, okay? So there we go. There we go. That'll be lovely. So I'm going to hold it up and let you see. So these are the leaves. Whoop. Yay! Okay, and then I'm going to start doing the red. Can you see my little, I don't know if you can see well from there, but I've just put a blob of each colour. So now I'm going to start putting red on top 
above, not on top, a little bit on top, I'm mixing it a little bit, but above the grain, and this is the start of our flames in the burning bush. There we go, so we'll just keep adding a little bit in there and we'll bring it up a wee bit, blend it in a little bit. There we are. Okay, now I'll show you this. That's the start of the flames. And then we're going to, I'm just taking myself a bit more red on my finger there, so I'm just gonna take that off. Right, and then we're gonna go onto the next finger, this one, and we're gonna do yellow, and we're just gonna to go to the top, and we'll just blend that in. And we'll do some flames coming up off it. And again, I'll hold it up. I love doing finger painting. I much prefer finger painting to using brushes. Do you think you like brushes? What do you like to do? I love finger painting. I like the feeling of the paint on my fingers. It's cold and it's a little bit mushy and I really like it. So there we go. I think I just want to add a little bit more green down here just so that it's all blended in a wee bit more. So I'm going to hold it up and let you see again. There you go. Does this look like flames? that good right and then what you do is with it doesn't matter what finger you use but I'm just going to mix them all together wait till you see you do a mix mixy mix 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 and when you do that that gets you a brownie color and then all I'm going to do is do down here so mix them up and then start putting on the tree trunk and I'm just dotting my finger on it there we go, and then I'm going to bring it down the tree. I'm just using it to even like drag it down a little bit. There we go. Yeah. And I'm just going to put it up a wee bit and into just up and into the branches where my fingers were. To blend it all in together. There you are. There is my. So I'm just going to use this bit of paper just to clean the fingers and then I'm going to hold it up for you. There we are. If I had a wipe, I would clean them like that, wouldn't I? Okay. There you go. What do you think? So this is the burning bush. And then you can write, you can put your name on it, or you can put, and I'm going to do it again, God's Big Plans. There we are. And then if you get some glue, you can, I didn't bring glue up with me as well. I was forgetting lots of things today, wasn't I? That's okay, isn't it? I can do it later. I can pop it on a bit of glue, just put it on the underside of it, and then you can stick it onto a bit of paper or a bit of card that's bigger than that first sheet. And then you can hang that up on your wall. So everybody, I hope you enjoy doing your burning bush like Moses saw God speaking and heard God speaking from that bush. I hope you have fun doing some finger painting today uh, for part of our story. So take care everybody and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!